Hey everybody, I'm Raksha and in this video I'll be talking about text grouping in Power BI. So let's get started. So uh, on my page as you can see that uh, we have got store by type wherein I have the store name and I have the count of type and under which I have got different different types for the store. So if you see this example Century Gardener, it has got four different types of uh, uh, like store type under which it is categorized. So it is hybrid, medical, other and recreational. Now what I want to achieve is I want to achieve a simple group by of all these values next to the store name. So how do I do this? Generally, whenever it comes to group by, group by helps us to have the aggregations based on some numeric value. It gives us aggregated values such as sum, count, average, etc. But there is a different way to uh, achieve the text grouping. So I'll help you explain the whole process. So currently, uh, as you can see, we have got two columns only. I have got store name and type. So what I want to do is I want to have this column wherein in the column itself, this row should give me all the four distinct values. So for that, I have taken store type two as a duplicate for showing you in the demo. And uh, here what I'll do is I'll simply hit on transform. I'll go to group by. OK, and uh, let me just name this new column as type in one row. OK, and uh, I will choose operation as sum and I will say that I want the sum of type. Logically, we can never sum up the text values. OK, so let's see what happens. Yes, it will give us error. So now in order to solve this error, what we are going to do is um, we are going to simply ask the power query that you don't have to sum the list values, but you have to combine the text values. So for that, I will open up the Power Query M code. And in the advanced editor, as you can see, we have this uh, grouped row uh, step right here, wherein you can simply observe that we have list dot sum. OK, and instead of this, what you are going to do is you are simply change this step to text dot combine. OK, and I also want to add a separator, um, let's say hyphen so that Whenever I get the distinct types, it should be separated by a hyphen. So I'll simply add this double quote and I'll add hyphen in between and I'll hit OK. So with this, your error will be solved. And uh, next to your store name, all the four values will be in one single row. So let's see how does it look. Uh, we were looking for this example, Sanctuary Gardener. OK, so let me filter this row. Yeah, so as you can see, we have got all the four values separated by hyphen next to this particular store name. So this is how we can achieve this text grouping. I hope you enjoyed this little piece of trick. Thank you for watching.